Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. You're watching Bob's Baggers, home of all things rubbish. Today we're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo 4. And we're going to be doing the Micro Championship, or the Micro Brothers if you will. Um, and we have built a Turbo March on Mini Lights. Of course, it's the thing you have to do. Let's jump straight in and see what happens, shall we? And uh, for anyone that hasn't watched my Kaido Racer video that uh, is coming out on Friday, thank you for getting us to over 100 subscribers. It's incredible. I cannot thank you enough for all the support, people. It's, it means the world to me. But remember, 22nd of December, Need for Speed Underground 2 stream. <laughs> it's happening. It's going to happen. Three hour long stream. Strap in, people. Or strap on. Whatever you're into. Right, let's see what happens. The fact that that was a 90-something point race or whatever it was does worry me a little bit. It shouldn't be because we've got quite a lot of boost. Why are we getting dropped? Come on! Wow, okay. Do we need more power? Oh. We've got no grip. Right, let's go. Come on. Come on, little March. I used to own a, um, a standard 1 litre K11, and I loved the thing. I, I really did. I thought it was a fantastic little car. Oh, I genuinely would have thought with boost, this thing would have been just dominating. But we're not. Interesting. It hasn't got a lot of grip, it has to be said. <laughs> it's not very good in the corners, despite the coilovers. I honestly thought this would be quicker than it actually is. I don't know why. I am struggling here. Genuinely struggling to keep up. Right, let's do... Um, Let's do some full, um, some uh, genuine Gran Turismo strats and just jump the curbs. I don't think we're going to catch up to first place here, you know. That little B1 is really fast. Oh, he says. Get forzed. All right, let's go. Come on. Don't tell me we're getting dusted by this San Pao. Oh no. Come on, use that one litre torque. <laughs> Come on. I actually think we need more power. I genuinely believe we actually need more horsepower. I can't believe that I'm saying that in a race where most of the cars I was expecting to make 50 to 60 anyway. I've got one lap to get past that Nissan Pal. It looks so balanced. What is going on with that thing? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm doing this thinking it's going to be an easy championship. And this is going to be some of our best racing yet, I reckon. Oh, he... Oh, he's done me. Oh, I think I've messed it up too much. Oh, he's gone off. Yes! <laughs> he handed me that win. Okay, I had to cheat like an absolute... You know what? This isn't quick enough. I can't believe a 115 horsepower Micra is not quicker than a bunch of cars from the 70s and 80s. Oh. <laughs> so we're only getting 2,000 credits per race. Not good. Not good at all. I mean, do we keep it stock and try? Well, not stock, we keep it as it is and just keep trying? I think we do. Three laps of Suzuka. Mm. If I can give it 10 more horsepower, I think we'll be someone. Has it got an exhaust on it? It hasn't, okay. Mm. 
That's 120. I think that'll be enough. I actually do think that should be enough. Did I take any weight out of this thing as well? I did. Okay. That's that should be fine. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> right, let's go. We still need to buy a Civic as well. I think that's uh, that's on the cards. And we need to buy an American classic American car. Oh, it's 67 point race now. Oh, it sounds better. Oh, listen to that! <laughs> that sounds sick! Whoa! Do we get the micro race car from this? That'd be kind of cool if we did. I could put that in the, in the uh, World Compact series. <laughs> what a cool sounding car. Uh, don't tell me six horsepower is all it was going to take to make this thing a dominant force. Oh. It, does, it still doesn't handle. <laughs> Could definitely do with some tyres or something. Right. Let's see what this thing tops out at. Well, not necessarily tops out, but let's see how fast we can go in this. <laughs> Look at the speed! Triple digits! That is absolutely screaming. Okay, turn it in. Beautiful. <laughs> I like this thing a lot. I really do. I think I think this generation of micro looks great as well. It's a very um it's a very cute little thing, isn't it? But I've seen some of these modified, and they look great when they're sort of lowered on, on the wheels that are on this, or sort of little wing and stuff. Not like a big spoiler, but like a little boot spoiler that's on this one. I think it's a great looking little car. Especially when, <laughs> I think they're really fun, especially when people turbocharge them. I'd love to have a shot at the turbocharged one, I'd love to know just how quick it actually is. <laughs> Let's go. Who would have thought six horsepower is all we needed? Oh, bad line on my part. It's a shame you can't repaint the cars in this game. Or if you can, I've never found out how to. But you know, as funny as having the uh, the you know the granddad grandma spec color is, I would quite like to make this a nice looking little car. Maybe like a championship white or something. But beggars can't be choosers. This game's still fantastic. It's still one of the greatest racing games of all time. Ooh. Okay, I may have underestimated how quick these races were going to be. <laughs> Screaming! Wonderful. That was very easy. Thing is, it's not really returning any money this <laughs> championship. Oh well. Oh well. I do need some Italian stuff as well. Also, at least some European cars for some of the European events. I do want to start doing working through some of those. There is a golf championship. I'm wondering if I should do that next. I think you get the Mark 1 GTI from that. Cool little car. Whoa, cameras. This should be a fun race, actually. Why is that noise? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Ha 
We're being left for dead. Go, little march. Oh, I'll tell you what else we need to do. The Yaris Championship. I don't know if I bought a Vitz RS Turbo for that yet. <laughs> the bees. Not the bees. Oh, why have they all of a sudden become the fastest, most immaculate racers on the planet? Well, they noticed I had six more horsepower, so they decided to up their game as well. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was not a good upshift. I bogged hard there. Use the slipstream. Oh, don't tell me we're not going to get first in this. There we go. There we go. Good exit. Right, let's go. Right. Let's get past you. Let's hunt down the K12. Which is surprisingly fast. I mean, he must be doing over like 110 right now. Whoa, the BE1. Where's that coming from? Alright, I think I needed a third lap on this. Can I catch it? I don't think I can catch it. Do I need more boost pressure or something? Oh, oh I don't know though. If I get brave with my um, braking zones. Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> Climb! This is going to be a close race. This is going to be a close finish. Alright, let's get up the inside. No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, no! Damn! Bugger! Mm. <laughs> what do I spend the money on? What do I buy to make this faster? I mean, we've done pretty much. Nah, that, that detuned us. What about port and pot? So four horsepower. Hmm. <sighs> Hundred and sixty horsepower in a micro. I think that should do it. <laughs> I should have probably just spent the five K on the nitrous and just sprayed my way to a victory at the end. But I think this is more fun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how sketchy this is to drive. That's way too much power for a little car. I mean that's that's basically B sixteen levels of horsepower. <laughs> I have no idea how much boost it's actually going to make now, but... We shall see. Oh, it's, it's pinned at the top of the gauge. Okay, yeah, that pulls a bit harder. <laughs> that actually feels like a car. This Sam Powell's trying to make a move. Let's go. Let's just let's keep it outside view. The 
Let's go. Come on, little march. It's still not. It's still not like I'm walking them. Oh, bit of a bog. I like the silver one actually. Okay, that's cl that's better though. Let's go. Does it actually have the torque to stay in third gear now? Well, it's hit trash control pretty hard. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see 100 mile an hour by the end of the straight. I think that's quite easy now. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, God. What am I doing? Oh, it's... Yes! Micro flamethrower! <laughs> Sweet! That is so cool. What am I doing? I'm steering like absolute dog dirt. Alright, we're good. We are flying. Kind of makes me want to buy the Lupo back. <laughs> but the Lupo was sacrificed so we could buy the RX-7. So Off we go to a blazing victory. Okay. Turn again. Oh, bit of lag. Let's go. Okay, that was a bit too easy, I must admit. But, come on. <laughs> At least there's some close races in this one. Who would have thought the Micro Championship would provide the best racing? <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, I don't know what the prize car is. I genuinely don't know what the prize car is for this. I want to say it's the Micro Race car. The little 125R. Let's have a look. Yes! Or oh, MMR, sorry. My bad. Ah, oh, cool. It's, uh, dude, it looks kind of smart in black, actually. Sweet! Right, we're going to be using that for the Compact uh, uh, Championship. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, well, actually, let's just have a quick look. Cause, well, how many races are in Club Z? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> what else can we do? Um, should we do some special events? Is this like actual dirt racing? It's not, okay. I'm not going to use the micro for that. <laughs> no, oh, no, oh, it's all going wrong. What else, what else have we got that we could use? Hmm. So we haven't actually brought out the Evo, so let's let's jump in this. I mean, it's 320 horsepower. It's, it's going to do something, isn't it? We'll just turn all this rubbish off. No, so I'm kind of tempted just to turn the traction control off in this thing as well, with it being four, what, 320 horsepower and four-wheel drive. It it's gonna grip. Oh well, let's see what happens. Rally de Umbra. Unpredictable surfers. Okay, let's have a look. I mean, if we're on road tyres, at least it's four-wheel drive. Like, I can't imagine this being very difficult to complete. Oh, no. oh this is easy! I'm rubbish at these, but... This is not a track I'm very good at. Whoa. Oh. Oh. 
gets his uphill drag. Oh, what are you doing? That's my job to cheat. Live with that loser. Oh, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. Let's go. All right, good. Tough. That's a tough corner to navigate. I can hear the sleeker. No doubt he's going to be navigating this much better than I can. Right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this thing's fast. Oh. Oh. Rubbish. I need to be, break I need to be slowed down a lot sooner for that. Oh. Turn. I think I need to be racing in um, this view. I'm hoping I can use the uphill to pull a bit of a gap to the um, the sleeker. Ah, oh, bollocks! No, 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 no! Go, accelerate! Is that just going to stay? No, it's not. Alright, let's go. This car doesn't sound very good. Which is um, which is weird, because I think Evo sound quite nice, actually. but Especially with a, a good exhaust on them. Which is, I mean, it's, it's another turbo four-cylinder, isn't it? But at least the Japanese make theirs a bit more t tuneful. Not tunable, but tuneful, like make them sound a bit better. I, I really, I, unless it's like an old Alpha or something, I don't think the Europeans have made many good sounding four cylinders. Oh, actually, old Ford Escorts as well. Basically, anything that's old, <laughs> it sounds good, but all modern European four cylinders sound horrendous. To me, anyway, I'm sure people like them, and that's fair enough. Oh, I can see him back there. Well, I'm going to break nice and early for that. Spool. Lovely. I think this thing with a big turbo would be quite scary, actually. Right, keep it out the walls. This is a fun track. I know a lot of people <laughs> don't like this, but I think it's quite fun. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> 5,000 credits. I need the cash, to be fair, so. And whatever car, whatever rubbish car we get from it, because I doubt it's going to be something useful. I bet it's a concept car we can't use. Oh, dear. And we still need to buy a Civic. <laughs> Should we change cars again? We might as well. I am going to use the Evo, I think, very soon. Um, what car should we use, people? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Ooh. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> Any excuse to break out the vet. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. Let's get the second one done. 
obviously I know there's the um, the way you can abuse the money in this game by just getting the Toyota HSC rally car and just keep selling them. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've, I've done the race once. I haven't shown it. I'll do it again to show the race, but I won't sell the car. Because to be honest, having a rally car would be quite useful. So we've got to beat a Renault 5 Turbo. And I'm driving a big old American car. Two very cool cars on the screen there, though. Right. Oh. Gabe's not happy about something. Oh! You dog! There we go. Yeah, he's not going to live with this on the uphill. A little bit of a tap of the wall. Alright, let's go. Actually, thinking about it, I've got a car I can enter into the um, American races to try and get the Superbird. I d thing is, if I use the Corvette race car, it's going to be too easy. I kind of want to buy like a 440 powered charger or something and use that instead. Oh. I couldn't see where we're going. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was pain. Okay, okay, whoa, that feels really fast. I wonder if the um, the AI gets penalties, because uh, the Renault 5 seemed really slow when it hit the wall. Let's go. Look at the speed, man. This thing is dumb. To be honest, the penalty actually kind of helped there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was actually kind of easier. <laughs> whoa, whoa. If you're wondering why I keep changing views, it's because every time the penalty thing comes up, or whenever there's a notification on the screen, it doesn't seem to go away unless I change views. And I don't know if that's an emulator issue, or if that's something that actual Gran Turismo did. Whoa. Just a little kiss. Just... Just a little wall tap. Oh man, this thing sounds so good. I, I, I'm so glad I bought this. This is honestly one of my favourite cars in Gran Turismo. Oh, you dog! Oh, why did I shift up there? Why did I shift up? What am I, what am I thinking? Beautiful. <laughs> that will do. Alright. Let's get the 5k cash. And we're basically where we started. <laughs> 52k. Wunderbar. Alright. I think we'll hop in the Evo. Do some mods to the Evo. Or do we see how much the charger is? Oh, we get the CN from that. Oh, that's broken. <laughs> We get the CN from that. I thought CN came later. Oh, that's so dumb. Whoa. Bugger me sideways. We've now just got a very, very fast car. 
No! Right, I want to go over to America. Let's dodge. Right there. Actually, what new dodges are there? SRT4, Ram 1500. Oh man, look at the Viper. What a car. GTSR Concepts, Team Oraker, race car. That thing would be fast. But I'm only interested in the old stuff. Oh, 75k. Mmm. <laughs> what about Plymouth? I can only just not afford the Barracuda. Can I sell the CN? Because I, I don't care about that car. Or is it going to be like, this is a concept car, so you can't use it. Or sell it. I bet that's what it does. Yep. You suck. <laughs> oh. I've already got the Honda HSC thing. Oh, no, that's that thing. Mmm. <laughs> How much does... Because I've got the NSX Type R now. So 7k. I, but I, I, I like this car. Hmm. Uh, we've already got the Type R. We can say goodbye to this NSX. It's done me proud. But it's time to move. I'll tell you what I don't like. The way that this sounds. I've spent a lot of money buying that. And it's not worth a lot to sell. Oh, I'm, I'm so close to the... No... Uh, I mean, seeing as we've got the CN, the Speed 12 is going to die so that a 440 charger may live. I think that's fair. I think that's I think that's more than fair actually. And you know what? It's my playthrough. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Question is, what colour? Oh, oh, I like that. Heavy orange. It's kind of the colour, isn't it? Bright red. Panther pink. Plum crazy. I do like Rally Green actually as well, that's a great colour. Um, green Go, Sublime, Banana. I like that a lot. Yes. <laughs> we have bought a Charger. Okay, now this is cool. This is actually exciting now. 375 horsepower is a fair chunk. Um, Let's just give it a little bit more. Uh, I'm not, I'm not interested in turbos or anything on this. 392. I'd like it to start with a four. <laughs> I think that's kind of reasonable. 427 horsepower. Oh, come on, that's more than enough. At least I think it is. So, for the Supercar Championship, I think we'll use the CN. And actually, depends, because if I'm going to start streaming, which I'm hoping to do more streaming in the new year, then what I'm hoping to do is um, start streaming some of the uh, endurance races in this game. So, if we're going to do that, then we might get the W12 Nardo, which is kind of what I'm after. Um, I need to change the oil. And I think we'll call the video there. Where are we? Yep. Okay. Oh man, this thing's cool. This thing's really cool. 
It does sort of, when the oil's draining, it does sound like um, Dr. Zoidberg from <laughs> Futurama, doesn't it? A little bit. <laughs> I kind of don't want to change anything about this way, the way this looks. Maybe the stance? But even that's kind of good. Um, I'm not sure there's going to be any wheels that are going to look smart on this. Definitely not those, not those, no, no, no. Oh. Well, maybe those. <laughs> the rest of these are pretty rancid. You know, yeah, no, let's, let, let's, um, let's check on those. They look kind of cool. Oh, aren't they Porsche wheels? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But I, all I know is that's where we're going to call the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like, comment, subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. And remember, December 22nd, Need for Speed Underground 2. See you then, people. Take care.